Hello, welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this wonderful Bisab Sobolo Zobo drink. You name it, hibiscus, you know. So let's get started. So first here, I have some dry hibiscus leaves, which I am going to wash off camera. And I'm using about, I would say, two and a half cups. That's normally what I would use. And here I'm just using some sliced lemons, which is really important. I have some ginger. I have um, some oranges. Don't forget your oranges. I know this may seem strange, but they actually make things taste delicious. And as well as your pineapple. And here is actually some monk fruit. This is just another way to not use sugar. You know, if you don't want all the calories, just use any other sweetener. And of course, you're going to need honey. And honey is really good as well because it has its own taste, which actually makes the sobolo nice. So first in a pot, I am just going to be adding in that clean hibiscus leaf. Okay, and you can get this at any local market. And now what I'm going to be doing separately, I am just going to be adding all the fruits into my blender. So I'm starting off with the hard fruit, which is uh, the um, pineapple, because the blender isn't, my blender is not the best. So I just like to put the hard fruits in the bottom. But after you have put all your fruits all together, and I did include the lemons, but I didn't um, add in the skin, I will also be adding in the water and Fill the water all the way to the top, okay? That's a very important step into blending this. So now I am just blending all the fruits together. And again, I did not use the lemon skins. I just used the inside of the lemon, which I forgot to mention. After you're done blending, this is what it should look like. It should look all mixed together and bubbly. <laughs> So back in the pot of the hibiscus, we are just pouring in everything from that blender. We're just pouring it in. And now I'll be adding more water because we really want this hibiscus tea to go all the way to the top. But it's totally up to you to what amount you like. And now I'm just going to mix everything together. And in the beginning, it will look like a strange color and it will look like it's a bit too thick. And that's only because... Everything I blended is not sieved. So, yeah. And after a while, you will see the color change a bit. But, um, yeah, I'm just mixing it just to kind of give you a clear idea of, of what it would look like and the color. But in the meantime, please let this come to a boil, okay? <laughs> so now it is getting really, really hot. And I'm just mixing it once more because I don't want anything to stick to the bottom because this is not a nonstick bowl, well, pot. And in the midst of it getting hot, I will be adding in some fresh lemons. And these were not blended at all. And you can also add in some pineapple as well. And these are also fresh pieces. I just like my uh, bishap to be very fruity. And now after it's bubbling... You should just continue to keep an eye on this. But I normally let my um, bisap boil for about like maybe 20 to 30 minutes. And afterwards, it should look like a dark color like this, which is an indication that it's like <laughs> pretty much on the edge of being done. And in the meantime, we will let this sit and this is what it should look like when it's done. And I have let this sit for about two hours. All right. So now after two hours of letting it sit, we are just going to sieve it. And please do this um, step by step. Because if you are making a big batch, if you just sieve it all at once, it's not going to go through the sieve. It's actually going to go right past the sieve into that same bowl. So please just be gentle doing it bit by bit. And as you can see, that's the leftover from sieving. And that's just what you're going to have to do in the process. And so I'm just sieving it bit by bit to make sure that everything is nice and sieved. And as you can see, the texture of the bisap is different. It's not too thick anymore because of all the fruit that was mixed. And so now after you're done sieving it, this is what it should look like. And it should also have bubbles on top. 
And in the process, we will be adding in the honey. And yes, I am stirring it a little bit too hard, but um, well, it didn't spill anyways. So um, yeah, let's just keep mixing, okay? <laughs> and so now I'll be just adding in my monk fruit because monk fruit makes everything taste nice. It is a little pricey, so you can use any other uh, sweeteners, but it's just one of my favorites. And after that, we will give it a nice taste after adding in the honey and monk fruit. And after we taste it, I recognize that it actually is really, really good. So now we will proceed to the next step, which we either pour it directly into a pitcher or you can put it in a large container in your fridge and keep it overnight for the next day. So anyways, this is the next day and I add my ice cubes and this is my final result. This is my delicious mishap that I'm presenting to you guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.